欢迎收看今天的成长汉语。Thanks for joining us today for another episode of Growing Up with Chinese. Our show aims to help all of you learn some basic Chinese through the adventures of Xiaoming, a local Beijing high school student, and Mike, an exchange student who is living with Xiaoming. And apart from language study, we also aim to introduce various aspects of Chinese culture, history, and everyday life, so you have a context for what you're learning. Now today we're going to be wrapping up our sequence on Hou Hai. Mike, Lan Lan, and Xiaoming have to be getting pretty tired by now. Now, what does the final part of their Hou Hai trip have in store for them? Well, let's check in with them and find out. Hey, Lan Lan, I'm almost starving. Let's go buy some food. Yes, yes, I'm almost starving. Okay, okay, let's go. 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 Let's go.
钢琴课 is piano lesson. 简单 is simple. So 吃点简单的 eat something simple. 那边有卖汉堡的，咱们边走边吃怎么样 ？There's a place that sells burgers over there. Let's walk and eat at the same time, okay? 汉堡 is burger or hamburger. Kind of sounds like the English, doesn't it? 边走边吃 walk and eat at the same time. 怎么样 ？Is how about it? Is it okay? 嗯，我吃什么都行。兰兰，你想吃点什么？嗯，我一会儿还有钢琴课，咱们吃点简单的吧。好吧。哎，你看那边有卖汉堡的，咱们边走边吃，怎么样？太好了。我要三个鸡腿堡，三杯可乐。I would like three chicken leg burgers and three glasses of cola. 鸡腿 is chicken leg. Add a 堡 to the end, and you get chicken leg burgers. 鸡腿堡。杯 is the measure word for drink, like glass. 三杯可乐 ，three glasses of cola. 您好。我们要三个鸡腿堡，三杯可乐。好的，一共四十八元，请您稍等。这是您的汉堡和可乐，请您拿好。能再给我几张餐巾纸吗？好的，没问题。All right, that just about wraps up today's general overview of the dialogue. Now it's time to get into some specifics. Well, we've got a nice collection of vocabulary words to go over today, so let's take a look at them right now. 饿 hungry. 饿做梦 to dream. 做梦钢琴课 piano lessons. 钢琴课餐巾纸 paper napkin. 餐巾纸咖啡屋 coffee house. 咖啡屋简单 ，easy, simple. 简单。Our radical for the day comes from one of our vocabulary words, and the word is 饿 hungry. Okay, so let's take a look at the hungry word, or food radical. Here we have our. Food radical. Actually, this radical comes from the character food, which looks like this. It doesn't look quite right, does it? There we go. Shi. This means food, and this turned into this as a radical. So that's our food radical. E looks like this. This is the character for hungry. Now, here are some more examples of characters that use the food radical. 饭 cooked rice, a meal. 馆 shop, hall, or restaurant. 饮 drink or drinks. I'm hungry. And it's just as well because today we're spotlighting eating customs. Yes, we have talked about some eating customs before, but seeing as eating is such an important part of everyday life, we thought it might be good to cover it. Just cover it some more, especially because habits and manners vary so greatly from culture to culture. Now, in the United States, we have something we call finger food. It isn't a specific dish or food, but rather it's a term we use to refer to any kind of food that can be picked up with one's fingers and eaten. Now in China, fingers should be used sparingly where food is concerned. It's not very polite to touch your food with your fingers. Chopsticks, when you know how to use them well, can pretty much take the place of fingers, no matter what the food may be. For example. I might use my fingers to take fish bones out of my mouth if I was eating fish in the United States, but in China, while some people might use their fingers at home, most of the time people will use their chopsticks to deal with bones. It's just not really considered polite to put your fingers in your mouth. So 
What happens when you're eating a burger? Well, nine times out of ten, if you look at someone here eating a burger, they will hold it in its paper wrapping. Hands are nicely avoided. So avoid hands if you can, even when you're dealing with bones. Okay, it's time for some language point discussion. And let's start with kwai, something, something, le. Kwai on its own means soon or before long. It can mean this. So this pattern suggests that something is about to happen soon. Wo kwai le si la. I'm about to die from hunger. Kwai xia yu la. It's about to rain or it's going to rain soon. Ta kwai dao la. She's about to arrive. Or she'll be here soon. Let's look at some more examples. 快下雨了，我没带伞，你带了吗？我也没带。快十二点了，你怎么还在看电视？妈，让我再看一集，看完就睡。边 something， 边 something else， or 一边 something， 一边 something else。This pattern implies that two actions. Take place at the same time. 边走边吃 to eat and walk at the same time. 边想边写 to think and write at the same time. 一边吃一边看电视 to eat and watch TV at the same time. Pretty straightforward, no? 我喜欢边吃饭边看电视。这是个坏习惯。你看，这个人边拿手机边开车，太危险了。We went over the last time, but it's in our dialogue today, so we're going to go over it once more. The functions as a complement marker. It connects a complement that expresses degree or a result. So the pattern looks like this: adjective or verb plus the plus complement. 我吃的很饱。I 我吃 to eat 得很饱 very full. I'm very full. Now, if you want to speak in the negative, 不 is added after 得。我吃的不饱。I'm not full. 他跑得不快。He doesn't run quickly. 兰兰唱得很好。兰兰 sings very well. Lan Lan 唱的不好 Lan Lan doesn't sing well. Let's look at some more the examples. 说慢点儿，你说的太快了，我没听清楚。好的，我再说一遍。Mac， 你汉语说的真好。<笑>谢谢。All right, that brings us to the end of today's show. I hope you all enjoyed it. Now, before we end, I want to answer a question that was sent in to us by John from Texas in the United States. Now, his letter says, "Does China only use Celsius, or do you sometimes see Fahrenheit used?" Well, John, China uses the metric system, and they do only use Celsius where temperature is involved. Now, when I was growing up in China, I used to spend my summers back in the states. So, as a result, I really got used to doing temperatures for winter in Celsius and temperatures for summer in Fahrenheit, as Fahrenheit is what we use in America. And I can still get confused sometimes. <laughs> But I have to say, it's good to know both because you never know where you might end up and which system the country you're in might use. Okay, thanks for your letter, John, and everyone else. Please feel free to send us your questions or comments through our website. Time for you all to take a break, and I'll take one too. 大家加油 Good luck with your Chinese studies, everybody. I'll see you next time. 再见。